simple circuits, they're nice, yeah. Right. Uh, Dropbox. Physics. Electricity. Lesson tree resistivity. Okay. What do you think this topic is about? What word is it like? Resistance. It's like resistance. So it's a continuation of resistance, okay? Yeah. yeah. Resistivity. Continue. Yes, you have this title? Yes. Yeah, second. Okay. All electrical devices, bulb, TV, PC, phone, etc. Actually, let me turn my phone back on. I turned it off. Offer resistance. So everything has resistance. Your light bulb, your. Um, oh no, it's not working now. Um, can't find the SIM card. Uh, right, everything offers resistance. Everything. So, light bulb, what do you think? Big or small resistance? Uh, pretty, you know, not huge, but big. Uh, small resistance would be, I think, like your laptop, mobile. your tablet, yeah. your mobile phone, things like this. Uh, computer would be pretty small. Big resistance would probably be heater. Electric heater would be very big. Cooker, oven. Small resistance, maybe it could be like laptops and phones and calculators. Calculator will be very small, yes, calculator. Now, a resistor is an electrical device that offers a known fixed amount of resistance. It's used in experiments and circuits, and uh, normally the work done is heat. That is, small resistors are really just small heaters. And here's a picture. So, uh, let me just uh, try and help explain this a little bit. Everything has resistance. So here's a TV. Maybe this has a resistance of 100 ohms. And what's the energy that comes out? Um, Light yeah. and yeah. sound and, of course, yeah. heat. In physics, we have this thing called a resistor. And these are used for experiments. And printed on the resistor is how much resistance is in it, in this example 4. But don't forget, there must be some work being done. So what is the work that's being done? In fact, the work that is being done by the small resistor is heat. But it's usually so small you can't even feel the heat. So these are called resistors. They just have a small resistance in them. In this picture, this is maybe a 1 ohm resistor. But of course, my point is, when there's resistance, some work is being done. So what is the work here? It's usually some heat coming off from the resistor. So this is what I mean. Small resistors are really just small heaters. That's all they are. Okay. And so I don't think you... Maybe I have the definition on the next one. Uh, no, I don't actually. So what you could do is... And um, you could just say, um, small resistors are really just small heaters. Here's a picture of one. And you could say, for example, maybe this is like a 1 ohm resistor. Have you done experiments before with resistors in high no. school? No. You've not done circuit, like make a circuit or anything? No. No? Really? Okay, we'll do some of that. Okay, continue. There's not too much to do in this lecture, so... Uh, um, resistor is a noun. It's the name <coughs> of this <coughs> device. <coughs> okay. Yeah, continue. So what affects the level of resistance? 
So here, maybe I want to make the resistance uh, bigger. Maybe I want to make it 2 ohms. So what can I change here that might make it bigger? Uh, now, just with the material or the shape or... Yeah, but how to make it bigger? Like, do I make it longer? Do I make it fatter? What do you think? So what, fat. You think make it fatter? Yeah, what else? And stronger. No, no, give me more precise terms. Connect more. Be connected. So, let's do it bit by bit. Do you think the length changes the resistance? If you make it longer, do you get more or less resistance? Mm -hmm. more, so more, less. Less. more resistance, okay. Uh, the answer is yes. It does affect it. Do you think the diameter <coughs> affects it? The diameter is how <coughs> fat it is. Yeah. So if the diameter is bigger or smaller, will that change the resistance? Yes. Yeah. yes. Do you think the type of material, if it's made of wood or if it's made of plastic, will that affect it? Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, so, actually, before you write that down, the length affects it. If the length is bigger, what happens to the ore? It's bigger. It's bigger. The radius, if the radius is bigger, what do you think happens to the resistance? Less. It's less. A bigger radius makes actually less resistance. And the material affects it as well. So, you have this formula to calculate the resistance. Let me just write it here, it's a little bit clearer. Here's your resistor. Oh, so ugly. Here. This is the length. And this here, this is the area. And the resistance here is equal to this constant multiplied the length divided by the area. And this constant here is a constant for the material. Resistivity. Resistivity, yeah. So if this is made of something like plastic, this will be big. If it's made of something like metal, this will be small. So this is a constant for the material. Uh, this, of course, is the length. And this, of course, is the area. This is how you can calculate the resistance in a resistor. Does anyone know the name of this Greek letter? Alpha? Rho. No way, man. No. This is definitely not alpha. Rho? Yeah. yeah. You know what alpha looks like, yeah. don't you? Yeah, come on. Give me a break, would you? <laughs> you can see I'm tired. This is alpha, beta, gamma, and you know that. Right. Okay, do you write this formula down? Now, the L is the length, of course, and the A is called the cross-sectional area. That's the area on the face. That's called the cross-sectional area. Yeah. Okay, so the more the diameter, the less the resistance. Yeah. And less the type of material. Yeah. And then the rho is a constant that is different for each material. It's called the resistivity of the material. Yes. I forgot I was banning you from sitting all the way over there. From now on you sitting. Yes. Finalized. Finalized, yes. No, no, he's okay. It's low, it's low. He's fine. Continue. Ignore <laughs> Mir.
can I continue? Yeah. 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 Resistivity is the role. So what is resistivity? Something like wood, it's big. Um, plastic, it, it's big. Yeah. Uh, copper, it's small. So resistivity is a measure of how much an electrical conductor stops the flow of electricity through it. Most metals have a low resistivity. The units used, now let's, if you look here at the formula we can get the units. If I take this formula, I can write it as resistivity equals RA over L. And what's the units? This is ohms, meter squared, and meter. Uh, no, no, they cancel. So the unit is ohm meters. So a resistivity of one is one ohm meter. Yeah. Ohm meter. Oops, sorry. Okay, continue. Yes, one, no. Don't break your head off, man. <laughs> Do I want to know if you did the mechanics homework? Mm, you should know that I have it on my This kind of answers my question. So I don't want to know if you have it done. Because you would have done it. I guess we all make our own decisions. Okay. Will I? I that on one. Okay, fine. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, trust me, I will. <laughs> Uh, okay, continue. Yeah. Yes, sorry. Now, you know insulator from chemistry. So an insulator usually has a, a high level of resistance, a high level of resistivity, whereas a conductor will uh, have a low level of resistivity. So if you can just write down insulator high resistivity, and conductor low resistivity. What is insulator? Hmm? What is insulator is the opposite of conductor. Uh, like wood is an insulator. Yeah. Plastic. Plastic, yeah. Did you not do this word with Lorraine? Did you do this with Lorraine? Insulators? No, only conductors? No. Oh, okay, alright. Sorry, I thought you did this already. What are you doing in chemistry at the moment, then? You're doing the titration. Titration. Is that the coffee experiment? No. Oh, that's distillation or something, isn't it? Anyways, uh, insulator, high level of resistivity. Conductor, low level of resistivity. You got this tea? Sweet tea. Sweet tea, nice. Cold sweet tea. Yes. Continue? Yes. Continue. Right. So here is a table 
of some values of recessivity. So, um, carbon. You know carbon? This is a small recessivity. 5 times 10 to the minus 6 ohm meters. So this is a conductor. Okay, so can you write this table down? We're going to add more to it. Now the people, who should be all of you, are doing the mechanics homework again. Are you finding that any easier the second time doing it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Do I sound less tired in the videos at the start of the year? No. no? Same. Same. Oh, okay, good. It's only an internal feeling then. Right. Next one, copper. Five, yeah, five point oh. I, I, I know. I know. I, <laughs> please, <laughs> forgive me. <laughs> right. Next uh, is copper. So is copper a conductor or an insulator? Conductor. It's a conductor. Uh, so the value will be small. It is 1.72 times 10 to the minus 8. So which is a better conductor? Copper. Copper, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nickel is also a conductor. Yes. yes. Uh, nick chrome is uh, nickel and chromium, I think, and uh, it's also a conductor. Okay. Now, next material is something which is not a conductor, it's an insulator, and that's wood. Now, look at how big of a difference it is. Here, these are all 10 to the minus 6, minus 8, yeah? But then when you go to wood, it's a huge difference. It's 10 to the 14, and this makes it an insulator. Next. Do you know, uh, uh, Fuang, do you know this material, rubber? Um, where have we got rubber? Uh, like uh, when you have a a car. This is made of rubber. It's the black material. Yeah. Or sometimes on your shoe, it's made of rubber. Yeah. Or, um, does anyone have an elastic band? No. Do you know rubber? Yeah. So this is a insulator. And then um, one more... Uh, oh no, sorry, that was it. It's made by the rubber cheese. It is. Very good. How did you know that? You learned that somewhere, yeah? You're right. Uh, I don't know which country actually. Does anybody know which country makes most rubber? Yes. Is it your country? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then you definitely know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, there's lots of rubber trees in Vietnam. Is that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Continue. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, so insulator as well for rubber. Okay, so I just have the one example to do because there's just one formula. Um, you have something like, um, I don't know if you have these at home, does anyone have an uh, electrical heater? Yeah. Yes, can you get by? I can move, wait, 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 wait. I'll no just problem, move. No I'll move, it's no problem. It's easy for me to move. I like to move. I sit all day. Okay. Right. Um, does anyone have an electric heater at home? A small electric heater. Uh, an electric heater is just a big resistor. That's all. It's not something special. An electric heater is very, very simple to make. So easy. You just need some uh, power. And then you just need a big resistor. Uh, a, you just need a material with a big resistance. Like... Um, uh, uh, whatever material you want to use, but that's all an electric heater is. You just pass a current oh, and through. Uh, well, we won't worry about a bulb. We don't need it to light up. Um, so all an electric heater is, you get a material and you just put a current through it. Now you can't use any material. So for example, you know, if you use something like wood, yeah, it will heat up when you put the current in it, but it might burn. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, if you put an electric current through um, metal, it will heat up. And will it burn? No. 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 So, it's good to use metal. Uh, you want to use something strong but cheap. Mm -hmm. So, often what is used is uh, this metal called nick chrome, nickel chromium metal. So, an electric heater is just some nick chrome with a current. That's all. Electric heaters are very, very simple. This is why they're very, very cheap, like 20 euros. If the nick chrome is 20 centimeters long and 5 millimeters in diameter, then how much resistance is there? So I'll draw it here for you. <coughs> it's 20 centimeters long and then 5 millimeters in diameter. And I want to know what is the resistance. So the formula is rho L over A. So far okay? Yeah. Now, um, can you tell me what is the constant for nick chrome in your table? 1.10 multiplied by 10 minus 1. 10. 1. 10. Yeah. Multiplied by 10 minus 6. And what's the length here? 0 0.2. 20 centi. 0 0.2. And now, what is the area? Yeah, it's pi or squared. And what's the or? 2.5. It's 2.5 millimeters. Millimeters. So it's 5 times 10 to the minus 3. This is 5 millimeters. Then you divide it by 2 to get the radius. The area is this formula. Now, is that okay or not? I don't know. You know this formula for a circle, pi r squared? Yeah. If you don't know it, just write it down. That's the area of a circle. So, let's just hit it into the calculator and see what we get. Okay, so I get. Mm, maybe I should have made. Why did you divide it by two? To make it the radius and not the diameter. The diameter is the d for the circle, yeah. but for the formula we just need the or. Half it. Half it. Half it. Yeah. Uh, zero point zero one ohms. No, I got uh, another number. Well, you are using that calculator I don't like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? Oh, one. Yeah? <coughs> Have you bought this calculator yet? No, before I had not but it has... No, seven. This one. Seven. This is the best calculator seven. in the world. Yeah? yeah? 
It has lots of functions. It's easy to use, isn't it? And it also has all physics constants on it as well. Okay, this is the best calculator in the universe. I yeah. I don't know and how well and it doesn't it. even need batteries because it has solar power. I know yeah. from the sun. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you can get it from a bookshop in the city centre. Really? Yes. Yeah. I'll show you how to use that later. I'll show you later. When? Um, when we need to use it, which will be... Um, let me see. Next semester. Oh, I'll give you an example of how to use this one. Uh, okay, well, first, before I show you how to use this, is this okay? Yeah. yeah. Now, do you remember last time we had this constant E? What was the E? The, the charge of electron, yeah. which was minus 1.6 times... 10 or minus 19. Something like this. But you don't remember. Wait. Yeah. It's on the... Ca wait, look. Uh, what's wrong? Did you get this number? Uh, no, it's like some, some other number, but I never knew. No, just listen to me now. You don't listen to me now. Listen. 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 Just listen. Yeah. We don't, if we don't remember it, that is okay. Because if you look at your lid, look, can you look? Do you have this? Do you have this calculator? No. No, you need to buy this. Yeah. Do you see... Uh, which one is the E? Look at number 23. Yeah, yeah. Is that her calculator? Yeah, yeah. Give it back to her. <laughs> Where's your one? I, I don't have the lid. You don't have the <laughs> lid? <laughs> <sighs> Look at number 23. What, what's beside 23? E. e. So, I want you to listen carefully. Type shift. Shift. Did you press shift? Press it, please. Press it for me. Press it. Shift seven, and then twenty three equals, and you have the e there. So you don't have to type it. Do you have this? You need to buy this. When will you buy this? Oh, well where is it? Well, it's not like yours. No, but this one is the best one. Just look at it. Look at it. All right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So it's look how happy he is <laughs> with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, minus one here is minus nineteen. Why? What's minus no, one? No, it's minus nineteen. It's minus nineteen. Yeah, I was making the. I know it's not minus one. I was making the point that we forgot it, so oh. we could look it up. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. 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 That's good. That's good. Why doesn't you say that G is six point six seven? No, that's the big G, capital G. Yeah. Yeah. No, but that's not the G we use. Oh, yeah, the G. Uh, I think that looks like is it number thirty five? Yeah. yeah, it's thirty five. Is that a normal G? Yeah, that's our G. Oh. Number thirty five. Yeah. Yeah, 9.81, yeah. Uh, have we used any other constants? No, just the G and the E, isn't it? What about the R? Uh. That, yeah. that R is uh, a constant in the next semester. In fact, I'll tell you what it is. If you studied chemistry before, it's yeah. the R in this formula. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so what's that? 8.31, yeah. yeah. We will also look at this formula in the next semester. Okay, so for a couple of minutes, uh, can you try these questions? I don't think this will take you too long because it's just one formula. Oh wait, just before you do that, really quickly, revision. Hey, look, 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 really quick. From middle school, what's the area here? Pi uh, r squared, and then here, area is x. Y, this one, and then lastly, uh, this one here. If I say this is X, well, and yeah. this one is Y, uh, a half X Y. Yeah, okay. What is four point three pi squared? What is what? Four point three pi squared. Huh? Four over three pi r squared is the area on a ball. Uh, 
Uh, four pi, sorry, four pi r squared is the area of a sphere. Yeah, that's why you're confused. I, I get you. It was in the first homework, and people have a circle. No, 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 no. In the first homework was this one, yeah. four over three pi r cubed, and that's the volume of a sphere, not the area. The area of a sphere is four pi r squared. We don't need that. No. We just need these three. Okay, try these for a few minutes.